Welcome back to Season 3 of Minecraft American Ninja Warrior. Today, it is qualifying Part 2. So we're going to start by going over the course and the rules. So first obstacle is the shrinking steps. Shrinking steps, the athletes must run up these steps and jump to this rope. Once you get onto the rope, you start iron crossing. Athletes must make it across these bars right here. From Iron Crossing, you go to this platform, and then the toughest obstacle from qualifying night one, the Spinning Bridge. This obstacle took out most of the competitors, and it caused four people to not move on to stage one. Up next after that is the Wingnuts. The Wingnuts were also a challenge, but everyone who made it here moved on. Then the Bouncing Spider. Only three contestants made it here and all of them made it to the back half of the course. Must go from this wall to the trampoline to this wall. From there, warped wall, classic, quick and easy. After that, it's the salmon ladder. Athletes just quickly move their way up to the floating monkey bars. After the floating monkey bars, they jump down to Ninjago Roll, which has been a killer over the years and took out two of our strongest competitors at qualifying night one. After that, an obstacle that no one has tried yet, the spider trap. Athletes must open up both hatches before climbing up, and then they can flip one down in order to move back up. The top two fastest athletes will move on to the power tower, where they will race for a safety pass. The worst four are eliminated. And the first runner of episode two of qualifying is the chosen one. Here he comes. Now, he says he's the chosen one because when he was born, his mom told him he was him. So, the chosen one, are you ready? Alright, here goes. Special guest, the chosen one. With a fan, a friend, knight, winner of season two, by his side, coaching him through. Chosen one, you're going to start in three, two, three. One, go. And the chosen one's off. It's taking a slower approach here. Maybe just working on not falling as opposed to going fast and making a mistake. But he's through the shrinking steps. He's now on to iron crossing. He's taking his time. Making sure he gets it. And he's on to the last move and he makes it. Now the spinning bridge. Oh, he stops. He's going back. Ooh, he's resetting. Smart. Smart move here. And he makes it. What a great reset. Didn't feel comfortable. Then he reset, and he made it. Oh, but he falls on the wingnut. The first move of the wingnut takes out the chosen one. <laughs> Up next, we have Yeti. Here comes a Yeti, looking to demolish this course. Yeti's known for destruction. Here he is. The crowd's booing him, but I think he's locked in. He doesn't hear the noise. Yeti, you're going to start in three, two, one, go. And Yeti's off, causing destruction, wreaking havoc on the course. But he almost falls off the rope, so almost, almost announcer jinx there. Oh, and he does fall off the course. <laughs> Up next on the course, we have Ice Pop. Come on out, Ice Pop. Ooh, Ice Pop, next to lava. Try not to melt, Ice Pop. Moving a bit faster to get over here now. All right, Ice Pop. You ready? You got ice in your veins? Can't hear the noise? Ice Pop. Ice Pop is ready, and Ice Pop, you're going to start in three, two, one, go. And Ice Pop's off. Here he goes. Oh my god, flying through the course. Getting stuck on the rope a little bit. It's now onto Iron Crossing. Cruising through. Now onto the spinning bridge. The killer from last episode. She makes it. Faster than, than the chosen ones. She's in first currently. Cruising on the wing nuts. She's through. She's onto the bouncing spider. And she does a big skip. Bounces right up to the second one. Is now on the warp wall. Gonna fly up this thing. And there she is. 
Ice Pop. Now onto the Salmon Ladder. Top four in terms of everyone that's competed so far. There's still a lot of quality competitors left, but she's on to Ninjago Roll. And we're, we're looking like we could have our first finisher here. She almost falls off like Glizzy did in the last episode. She's cooking, though. She's on to the last obstacle. She's on to the spider trap. She's got to open both, though, and then she can close one. Open both, close one. She keeps forgetting to close it. Got to remember. Oh, she gets stuck. And she's up, and she hits the buzzer. Ice Pop is our first clear of the season. Up next on the course, we have Jaylene. Jaylene? Jaylene, come on out. No Jaylene, I guess. Let's go check the, the backstage room just in case. Uh, J Jaylene and the Chosen One appear to be uh, stretching. Um, Jaylene, if you, if you want to run, you can. Uh... Chosen one trying to tell her to leave. He closes the door. Okay, yep. Jaylene appears to be in pain. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, Jaylene. Uh, are, are you, are you, um, are you ready? The Chosen One is clapping for Jaylene. Jaylene's waving, waving to him. Jaylene, are you ready? Okay. Jaylene, you could start in three, two, one, go. All right, and Jaylene is off. Cruising through the shrinking steps. Those, those stretches she was doing must have been working. Chosen One watching on the sideline. Jaylene's slipping a little bit, but she gets it. She's now on to the spinning bridge. She's going. She makes it onto the wing nuts where the chosen one fell earlier. Jaylene going through. Jaylene onto the last wing nut. Now, oh, misses the dismount on the wing nuts. And she's getting saved by the chosen one. Up next on the course, we have Octopus. All right, Octopus. Octopus coming out here, native to the water, but he's looking to avoid it this time. All right, Octopus, you're going to start in three, two, one, go. And Octopus is off. Taking off on the shrinking steps. Oh, misses the last one, but grabs the rope, thankfully. Now onto Iron Crossing. Making it through onto the spinning bridge. He's now bounding his way across, and he makes it, avoiding water. Passing the chosen one, he's on the wing nuts. Oh, but he drops right on that last one. Tough break for the octopus, but at least he gets to spend time with his family. Up next we have Ted. All right, Ted, come on out. Ted said that he wanted to be called Freak on the Course and Freak in the... It rhymes with Ted. If you're an adult, you can figure it out. Uh, he, he appears to have brought in chicken along with him. Um... He seems ready, Ted. Are you ready? All right, yeah, he is ready. He's tired of eating. All right, Ted, you can start in three, two, one, go. And Ted's off on the course. Had a little stutter step there, but now he's off, and he's off and running. He's flying through the shrinking steps. Now onto Iron Crossing. Ted taking his time, though. He uh, appears to have forgotten what he was doing. Oh, there we go. Makes a move. Now onto the spinning bridge. Ted, still with his chicken, leaves it behind. Picks it back up. And now he's going. On spinning bridge. And he gets it. And he's now on to the wing nuts. Ted on the wing nuts here. Oh, but he just falls. He just misses that second wing nut. And he falls just like the chosen one did. He's running away with his chicken. Up next we have Surfer Sam. Sad dude. Sorry, I just wanted to do my best surfer impression. But here comes Sam. Looking a little disoriented. Probably coming off of a big wave. But he'll be looking to avoid the water today. As Sam is going to start. In three, 
two, one, go. And Sam's off. He's flying up the shrinking steps. Oh, just misses that last step, but he makes the makes the jump onto the ladder. Not the ladder, the rope. He's on Iron Crossing now, and he's now onto the spinning bridge. And he's bounding across. Oh, but he just misses. That just didn't look good from Sam as he falls on the spinning bridge. Up next on the course, we have Hamburguesa. All right, Hamburguesa, or... Burger in Spanish is ready to run. Burger. Nope. Hamburguesa. Are you ready? Hamburguesa is ready. And he's going to start in three, two, one, go. Hamburguesa coming all the way from Spain just to test out his skills on the course. He's cruising right now. He's on to Iron Crossing. He's on to spinning bridge now. He also... Oh, and he's down on the spinning bridge. Hamburguesa. Not doing Spain proud. Up next on the course, we have the Wandering Trader. Here he comes. Looks like he's got two llamas that are stuck in the backstage room. Can't seem to figure out how to get them through the door. Oh, he's burning himself. Oh, God. Be careful. I don't think he's going to be able to get his llamas out. He's breaking backstage. Oh, and one llama and both llamas are through. He's coming up to the starting platform now. He, he's a little lost, though. All right. Come on, Wandering Trader. All right. Wandering Trader, he's ready to sell this. Nope, he doesn't want to sell the course. But he's ready to win, to finally buy something from people. All right, Wandering Trader. You can start in three, two, one, go. And he's off. Dragging his llamas. Oh my gosh. He's flying through the, the shrinking steps. But his llamas are being dragged. <laughs> this this can't be allowed. This has to be animal cruelty. Alright, his lead's broke. Both both llamas left behind on the early obstacles, but he's on the wing nuts. He's looking back. Oh, he's just Drops his leads. He doesn't care about his llamas. He's lost. Oh, he brings one. It spawns one in with voodoo magic, I guess. And he's now on to the bouncing spider. I don't know how this guy does it. He is taking a lot of time, though. Not as much time as we've seen some other competitors up to this point. But he is taking a lot of time. He's on to the warped wall, though. And he's now heading down to the salmon ladder. One of the farthest we've seen so far today. This could put him in a really good spot for the safety pass. Or a shot at it on the power tower. But he's on the floating monkey bars. And he's now heading on to Ninjago Roll. Only the second one to make it here today. He's cruising though. He's on to the hardest part. And he's now on his But he falls. He slips off. And just sells this course. Up next on the course we have Carly. Carly is second of one of our only ninjas that have any training experience. She's out of Parkour Academy, just like her good friend Tony um, from the previous episode. She's looking to replicate his success on the course. All right, Carly, are you ready? She looks a little lost, but she is ready mixed signals i guess but she's gonna start anyways in three two one go looked like she was not in at a coach over there on the side who knows but she's on to iron crossing nonetheless looking to make it through looking to qualify for stage one so that her and tony both have a shot at winning the entire thing she makes it right through spinning bridges now on the wing nuts cruising through doing better than most competitors we've seen so far she's now one of the few to get past the wing nuts and is on to the bouncing spider and she's now on to the warped wall she's gonna zoom up the warped wall hopefully here she does now on to the salmon ladder she's off on the salmon ladder makes the jump go straight into the first rung she's now climbing up oh but she slips she falls down a rung She's now making her way back up, though, and she's on the floating monkey bars. She goes to the second, 
it is now on the third, and she's now heading to Ninjago Roll. Carly on Ninjago Roll. One of the best runs we've seen so far. She looks like she could be in a, a power tower spot, and she is. She beats out Wandering Trader. She now has a chance to be one of two finishers. Oh, but she's messing up a little bit here on the, on the uh, spider trap. She makes it up, though. She's stuck. She can't figure out what she's doing. And she clears Carly with a fantastic run. Up next on the course, we have Lola the Mermaid. Here comes Lola. Looking to stay dry for longer than she would like, but that's how this goes. All right, Lola, you can start in three, two, one, go. And Lola's off. She's able to split her tail as she walks, which is kind of weird, but hey, she's a mermaid. I don't know how that works. I'm not a mermaid, so. She's onto the spinning bridge, though, nonetheless. Staying dry so far. She's through. She's now on to the wing nuts. She's making great time, making great progress. And is now on the bouncing spider, looking to be the second clear in a row. That would be incredible. Lola going right up the warp wall right now. Now onto the salmon ladder. She jumps in, is on that first rung. Now going up second, third, fourth, and now the fifth. Now heading on to the floating monkey bars. She's cruising right now. Onto Ninjago Roll. Absolutely killing it. She's really trying to get a power tower spot. Trying to fight for that safety pass. Oh, oh, and she falls on the spider trap. A weird, rare mistake. Something you never see. Up next on the course, we have Nate the Great. Turns out he may be eight. I mean, just look at what he's wearing. What the heck is this? Looks like he's ready for a day at the beach, not a day at the ninja course. All right, Nate. Nate's ready. He's locked and loaded. Nate, get on the green starting platform. Come on. All right, Nate. You're going to start in three, two, one, go. Nate's off. Trusted to be a scuba diver, but hoping to stay out of the water. There's the chosen one just watching. He's on the bubble currently, so he's keeping in, keeping tabs. Oh, but Nate the Great, who may be eight, just goes down on the spinning bridge. Oh, and the chosen one has some choice words. Up next on the course, we have Buildasaur. Uh, yeah, Buildasaur, um, like a Lego dinosaur, I guess. But hey, he's he applied for the show and look, he's here now. So, Buildasaur, you can. Hey, hey, look at them dance moves. All right, Buildasaur, you can start your run in three, two, one, go. Now, Buildasaur looking like an early fa favorite for fan favorite winner. Oh, but he just misses. He just slips off the rope. <laughs> Up next on the course, we have Werewolf Wally. Coming out, Wally. Wally's been sitting around here for most of the night, just waiting for his opportunity. Showed up earlier, but then he got skipped by Ted. Oh, but, oh, he's showing he's violent. Llama better run for his life. Wally. Told me to shut up. All right, Wally, you can start in three, two, one, go. And Wally's off on the course, flying through the shrinking steps. Now onto Iron Crossing. Werewolf Wally really letting his inner demon out on this course. He's on the spinning bridge, and he makes it onto the wing knots. He's got a great time so far too, so he should be moving on to stage one. Ball goes to plan, but it's looking like he's going to because he's now on the back half of the course. Nope, that's not true. He's on the bouncing spider, and now he's on to the back half of the course. He's just too good. I just anticipated it. I don't know. Well, Werewolf Wally now on to the salmon ladder. He jumps right into that first rung, takes a second before going up, and he's flying up the salmon ladder now onto the floating monkey bars. This obstacle hasn't had any casualties so far, and it's going to remain that way as Wally onto Ninjago Roll. This may not be the fastest time, though, so far, but it may be good enough just to get him onto the Power Tower, which is what he's hoping for. But we do have a few runners left, maybe one more, I'm not too sure. 
But Wally onto the spider trap, now going up. Looks like he might not fail, but he's going to get stuck. But he's going good, and he's going fast. And he is finished. Werewolf Wally, one of the few clears we've seen. Up next, our final runner of the night is also our first returner of Minecraft a and W, and it's Pineapple. Pineapple? I don't know where he is. He's, he's not backstage. Where is he? Pineapple? He's not, oh, he was underneath the platform. What a weird guy. But that's why he was fan favorite last season. Speaking of which, you guys, in the comments below, vote for your fan favorite. Vote for winner predictions. Um, we'd like to see what you guys would think. But yeah, pine. God, this is this is why you guys like pineapple. Pineapple, that's the wrong course. Come back. Got pi pineapple. Pineapple, that's cheating. You're gonna get disqualified. Please, get your act together, man. All right, pineapple. As soon as you step on that green, I'm gonna also press a green button. It's gonna start your time. Get over here, Pineapple. Come on. Okay. Pineapple has requested for me to do his introduction again, so I'm going to do that. Up next on the course, our final runner of the night, we have our first returner of the series, Pineapple. Fan favorite of Season 2 coming on out. He did really well last season but couldn't quite seal the deal and win it, so he's hoping to do that in his second season. Our first veteran, Pineapple. Are you ready? Pineapple is ready, and he's going to start in three, two, one, go. Pineapple's off. Pineapple flying through the shrine set. Oh, my God, almost falls down. Good save on the rope, though. He's now onto Iron Crossing. Now, just something I will mention with that fan favorite poll, Pineapple is the only person that you cannot vote for because he's already won the award. But he's on to the wing nuts, and he's cruising right now. If he clears this, he's guaranteed to move on, and he is. He's now on the bouncing spider, but he wants more. He wants that safety pass. He wants protection in the national finals. He's now onto the warped walls, zooming through. Now onto the salmon ladder. One of the top runs we've seen. He's proven to be one of the best to ever do it. Pineapple onto the floating monkey bars. Cruising through. We had no fails on the flying monkey bars so far this season. And Pineapple being the last runner of finals or qualifying, he there will be no fails on that. But he falls on Ninjago Roll. A tough fall for him as he just barely misses out on a Power Tower um, appearance. Now our athletes will move on to the Power Tower. The top two athletes will move on for a chance at a safety pass. Safety pass means if they fall on stage one or two for the first time, they get to rerun that stage. And in contention for a safety pass is Werewolf Wally in first and Ice Pop in second. So Ice Pop will be running first on the power tower. But before we get to see her run, let's see what she gets to go up against. She will start on this green platform, her and Werewolf Wally, when it's their turns respectively they will go up these logs from the logs go onto the ladder they will skip the buzzers for now go down the scaffolding they will jump from this bottom layer onto this platform here from there they will choose to go either direction once they do that they will make their way up back to the buzzer where they will hit it and their time will stop fastest clear gets the safety pass Last time we saw an upset where Glizzy won the safety pass over Mary. But neither of them cleared uh, qualifying. And both of our competitors today cleared qualifying. But also both failed um, on the power tower in the last episode. So maybe we will see no fails on the power tower. It will be a straight race. Up first on the power tower is ice pop ice pop are you ready to compete for the safety pass all right ice pop you can start your run in three two one go nice pups off 
really looking forward to getting a safety pass if she can, but we'll see how it goes. She's taking her time there. Oh, but she falls, wasting a lot of time. She has to go all the way back around. Has to re rethink of a strategy. Hopefully she doesn't fall, though. We saw Mary fall twice. Oh, and she falls twice. Mary fall twice and lost to Glizzy. Glizzy only fell once. Wally, the werewolf Wally, excuse me. He's looking at this, knowing that he has to be, knowing what he has to beat, and he might not have to go too hard. Oh my God, Ice Pop, a third fall. This is not looking good. Already at 50 seconds. This is not good for Ice Pop. Ice Pop really struggling here. Going back down. Ice Pop makes it out. Going to have to take her time now because she needs that clear. She needs it soon. And she needs to hope Werewolf Wally falls a lot. She's going. And she makes it. And she hits that buzzer. But it's not looking good for her. Up next on the power tower, we have the murderous Werewolf Wally. Werewolf Wally knows what he has to beat, know what he has to do. He just can't fall as many times as Ice Pop did. But he's locked in, he's ready, and he's going to start in 3, 2, 1, go. And he's off on the power tower. He doesn't have to go too fast, he just has to go clean. But he might want to go fast in case he has mistakes. Oh, but he doesn't have a mistake. He's the first one to make that jump first try out of both episodes. And if he can do this first try, he's going to be a clear shot. Oh my god, never mind. He's going to have to go back. I was going to say he's going to be a clear favorite to win, but this doesn't look good here. Still ahead of Ice Pop's time, obviously, because Ice Pop fell so many times, and he's only fallen once so far. But it's still early, and anything can happen. He's... Making it through, though, pretty quick, pretty fast. Oh, he's cruising right now, and he's done. He's hoping that that's fast enough to beat Ice Pop. We'll see. All right, we will now get to our results of qualifying night two. For the eliminated competitors, we have Buildasaur in 15th, who failed the Iron Crossing. Yeti, 14th, who also failed Iron Crossing. Surfer Sam and Berger, who were 13th and 12th respectively, both failing the spinning bridge. And then for the rest of the competitors, an 11th on the bubble, barely making it by just over a second, was Nate. Then the chosen one was in 10th on the wing nuts. He had a very slow time, but so did Ted, who also failed the wing nuts. And then Octopus and Jaylene failed the wing nuts as well, but they went fast. 8th and 7th respectively and then everyone to make the back half of the course traveling trader in 6th pineapple in 5th lola in 4th and then the top three were all finishers carly in third with the time of 122 ice pop with 119.59 and werewolf wally with 117.87 and he also won the duel on the power tower, claiming the safety pass. Which means him and Glizzy have the safety pass for uh, stage 1 and 2 if they need it. Hopefully they don't, but just in case they do, they have it. So, that is it for Minecraft American Ninja Warrior Season 3 Episode 2 um, Qualifying Part 2. Um, we'll see you all on stage one when the 22 remaining competitors take on that grueling course.